everyone so today is gonna be our final day in Peru we're gonna be leaving later on today and we come to a small town I think it's called Checa Cupi I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it about two hours outside of Cusco and we've come over here because we're gonna be heading to a place called Paucoyo which is kind of like the famous Rainbow Mountain but a lesser known, less popular version. And this is the place that we slept last night. 60 soles only, the cheapest place so far. Really comfy bed, probably the most comfortable bed that we've had on the trip. So really good deal. Hello. <laughs> Little dress. Now oh, they've all got clothes on, keeping nice and warm. A little hood. <laughs> And we ended up renting this SUV for our road trip, $70. It seems like the car rental prices are pretty high here. Well, in Cusco anyway, we couldn't find anything cheaper. a never-ending dirt road yeah we went like up and up all just all the time 40 50 minutes yeah. on a dirt road Whew. check it out we're the first ones here we're here at 7 a.m. yeah so we just came from over there somewhere once again different landscapes than what we've seen so far in Peru since we've been so used to getting up at like 5 a.m. on the tours we just continue to keep getting up by that time get the places empty and usually the weather is very clear at this time in the morning so right now we're around 4,800 meters the highest that we've ever been and I think we got to walk until around 5,000 already out of breath <laughs> yeah so that's one of the rainbow mountains back there from what we've been told though Palcoyo has quite a few different mountains that are multicolored I think rainbow mountain only really has one main one I think some of these over here are also multicolored. Where are we gonna head now? grass is kind of funny here as well it's like this super light vibrant green haven't seen that in the other regions that we've been to my ears feel like they're gonna pop I feel like a, a pressure in the ears <laughs> I guess because we were driving high pretty quickly we got the group of alpacas as usual we saw so so many alpacas on the drive here probably the most we've ever seen huge groups <laughs> I've never seen so many alpacas in my whole life. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, they're all here, aren't they? Look at that. the entire <laughs> valley and even up the mountains. They're everywhere. I think this is the steepest part we're going to be climbing up to these rocks there if you go like super super slow like a turtle <laughs> it's not that bad you just can like gather your breath properly so this part that we climbed up to now they call the stone forest because you get all these big stones and rocks that are kind of pointing up like trees all around wow all the snowy mountains oh yeah back there yeah full of snow wow. 
cool. Didn't know I'd be seeing snowy mountains around here. I still can't see any people here. I knew this was a less popular Rainbow Mountain, but I still thought there'd be people around here. There are tours from Cusco, aren't there? Yes, but I think they arrived around 8, 9, 10. Ah, okay. And it's like 7.50, so maybe they will start arriving soon. Oh wow, so here at the peak, there's even more cooler rocks. And check it out now, we got another Rainbow Mountain, a different one, right there. Not sure how many there are around here. Three. There's three? Yeah. Okay, we'll find the other one. top of one of the rainbow mountains you can't really make it out so much when you're close actually you can you can see the divisions of colors that one looks awesome now so i think one of those mountains is called Al Sangate. there's like a famous trek around here i think it's that one there the big one still more rainbow here yeah <laughs> yeah it's really nice that they have three different ones so you can see like different shapes and colors I think in the, the famous Rainbow Mountain is only one, like you said. So everybody gathers at that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's quite a big area here. That was the stone forest up there. So an interesting fact about this place is that it didn't exist a few years ago. In the past, this was always covered in snow pretty much all year round. Rainbow Mountain too, but because of global warming, it's made it appear now. So I think pretty much all year round. There's not much snow here. You can always see the Rainbow Mountain now. We just got our photo shoot with Champion. El nombre Jorgito. Jorgito. Jorgito and Champion. Puedo también? Sí. Es más amigable. Amigable. <laughs> okay. Gracias, señor. And now we're heading back. I think there's some more viewpoints here. Some more alpacas too. Everywhere. I think we are good people because we've been here for almost a month, three weeks, and no, no llamas or alpacas spit on us. Oh yeah, <laughs> people say that they spit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one's spat in our face yet. And if you've been watching all our videos, it probably seems that Peru's been empty, but it's just been because we've been arriving super early at the places, and also the tour group Guru Explorers that we did three tours with 
one of their main things is to try and arrive at the places when it's empty so yeah they organize basically the hours that you're going to arrive at each place to avoid all the other groups so that's why it seemed empty but it's not empty there's a lot of people here so i think i'm gonna buy this beanie with the air warmers i think it's around 20. we've got money to spend before we leave look kind of funny with the the air flaps really nice and warm though I should have bought this at the beginning of the trip and we're actually heading to Bolivia tonight and we're gonna be at altitudes kind of like this it's gonna be cold so yeah I'll be able to use it oh there's a little thing on the top too <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Gracias. 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 Ciao. So we've come back to Chekakupi now, where we stayed the night last night. And we actually ate here yesterday. This local joint. How much was it yesterday? 30 solids. Yeah, but we had drinks and also like a big portion of food. And I think uh, for dinner we even ate in an even cheaper restaurant around here but 20 solids for two for two with two soda two tea yeah tea. a soup a main meal soup, but yeah very very good very delicious yeah you'll see the portions there are, uh, are big and we ended up giving some locals a ride to the main road from the valley that we were in Palcoyo. two ladies and a baby i don't think they have public transport in that valley so there's loads of people trying to like hitchhike We've given rides to foreigners before, but never yeah. locals. Oh, it was the first time. I think it's kind of common in that area because they don't have like public transportation, like you said. And at the end, they even wanted to give us money. And we're like, no, 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 yeah. no need. <laughs> so this is what we were talking about. Look at the size of this portion right here. Huge fish. Got lots of potatoes. And we also got this cheese thing here that we haven't had before like round fried cheese yeah the fried cheese is really tasty cheese is your favorite isn't it oh yeah i love it and the trucha is also very good the trout, trout. Mm -hmm. yeah that's like the main fish you seem to find in this region of peru i think it's in the lakes yeah i don't think they have like the the normal pescado which is the fish from the, the ocean won't be fresh no it won't be fresh better not to eat that <laughs> Yeah, but this uh, trout is always tasty everywhere we go. So before we head out of here, we're just going to go on a quick tour of the chaotic town of Shekakupi. Show you all the, the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like the quietest town we've ever seen. All you see is dogs chilling. Barely see any people at all. This is a stop on the tours though that go to Rainbow Mountain and the place that we went. Because there's some area with like a famous bridge. So that's where we're gonna head now but since we stayed here last night we already walked around here and this is how it was it was just like a complete ghost town everywhere this place does have a pretty cool old colonial church though from the 17th century i read that it's an adobe church which is kind of like mud i think made out of mud a lot of the houses are made like that around here and this is the main square Plaza de Armas. Yeah, definitely the quiet, quietest place that we've seen in Peru. Yeah, definitely. There are still like locals walking by and stuff, <laughs> but it's very quiet. Yeah, that's about it. Only locals. We haven't seen any tourists there actually. Maybe at the bridge.
And this is the bridge area. Actually, looks really nice. The stone bridge. So there's three bridges overall. There's the colonial Spanish one, and then I think there's a reproduction of an Incan one, and then the modern one that the cars can pass. Wonder who this guy is. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. The town mascot or something. The Inca bridge is cool. I was actually wondering what bridges were like during the Inca times. The bouncy Inca bridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I, I don't like to be here. <laughs> no? No. They don't even look that thick, like the branches. Now come to a viewpoint called Mirador Cielo Punco, the district of Huaro. We were just clicking around on Google Maps for things to do since we've got some time to kill. I think we've got about five hours until we have to return the car. Yes, because our flight is very late today. But yeah, we, we can find some places to stay for a while. Yeah, so this is why it caught our attention. Check that out, the hand. So there's actually two hands. There's another hand here. You're gonna walk the hand, Carol? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go too. Yeah, I'm not sure if this town or village is called Guaro. We don't know anything about this place at all. Some nice farms down here, farmland. So we're making yet another unplanned stop. Pretty cool old site here from the Wari culture, which is before the Incas. And this was a aqueduct. Prohibido subi a los muros. You can't climb. So I just had a quick read and it also said the Incas did reinforce this place. So you don't have to pay anything to come in here because there's not actually here that much to see. There is a big archaeological site near here though that you can visit just over the road. We're not going to visit it today though. And a bit further down from the aqueduct got this really beautiful lake. So even these non-touristy parts around here are just absolutely beautiful. I mean you could even stay in like the village over there and it'd be a great place to stay. Not sure if they have hikes around here but it'd be really good if they did endless options in Peru. So that's gonna be it now. We're not gonna add any more stops on our way to Cusco. Still gonna take about 40 minutes to get to the airport. And I forgot to mention that we decided to go to Palcoyo over Rainbow Mountain because some of the guides that we did previous tours with said that they preferred it. I think mainly just because there's more to see, it's less busy and also it's less difficult. I think Rainbow Mountain's 5,200 meters and you have to do a lot more hiking. Apparently there's a very steep part and a lot of people get sick and yeah, this one wasn't so bad. We still have a long day ahead of us though because the flight times are all crazy to Bolivia. Yeah, we have a flight to Lima, 
uh, at 10, 10.30, and then uh, the flight to Bolivia is only at 3 a.m. So <laughs> we're going to arrive in Bolivia at 6 a.m. in the morning. And the Airbnb that we're staying w was supposed to be empty, and we were going to be able to do early check-in, but there's like a guest now, so we won't be able to do check-in until 3 p.m. <laughs> So uh, we're gonna, we're not gonna sleep, and we are already tired. So not sure how it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, usually we plan the flights so this doesn't happen. But yeah, the times just didn't work out to get to Bolivia, so we're just gonna have to do that. And maybe when we get there at six a.m., we'll just book uh, another hotel and sleep at another place. I don't know. We'll work it out though. It's gonna be a tiring night though, that's for sure. And if you've seen all our videos in Peru, you'll know that we've just been absolutely blown away by this country. Easily one of the best countries that we've ever visited and we will definitely be visiting again because we've just been in this region around Cusco really. There's a lot more to do. There's place on the coast. We didn't go to any beaches. Is that like desert oasis place? What's it called? Huacachina or something like that? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> but there's also the other area for hikes. Huaraz? Huaraz, Huaraz, something like that. So yeah, we, we still need to uh, explore a lot more of Peru, hopefully in the future. Yeah, it really, really, really is awesome though. So I, I highly recommend coming to this country. If you liked all our videos, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you in the next one.